Hello and welcome to the channel. It's been a while since I last had a post. I have been trying, I promise you, but the weather in the United Kingdom during late autumn winter time is absolutely rubbish most of the time. So there are very, very few opportunities. And when you're then out, you have to make every moment count. Otherwise you kind of miss it. So <clears throat> here is a Robin image that I got recently because I was doing a little walkabout and I was pleased with this image but one image does not make a video. And I was scoping out uh, an area where there are gold crests, not gold finches, but gold crests uh, because I want to make a video about gold crests, but the weather didn't actually cooperate very well. I did get a couple of uh, images, which I'm going to show you now. And then that was kind of it for that as well. So <clears throat> what I thought I'd do, given the fact that this is filmed in between uh, Christmas and New Year, is I am going to do a little sort of review, my best image from each month, because that's what I try and do with my photography. I, I take a lot of uh, pictures, <clears throat> and then each month I'm hoping to get one that is sort of printable. I guess. I mean, lots of pictures I take are printable, but it's that, the ones that have that little bit extra. So these are my 12 best images of 2023. I hope you enjoy them. In January, the great crested grebes start meeting on the lakes around the UK, sometimes for the first time, but probably more likely meeting up with their established mate as these birds mate for life. Love is indeed in the air. In February, the great crested grebes have obtained their full mating colours, which are vivid reds and orange around their heads. The feathers on their backs have gone from a dull grey to a lively brown. In March, I got this image of a red kite that almost looks like it is dancing in the sky. Once driven to almost extinction here in the UK, they are now quite prolific and can be seen sailing across the landscape looking for food. The winter came and went a few times in 2023, so the mating of the grebes were a bit delayed, but April allowed me to get this image of the reed dance, where the birds dive to pick up reeds and then they burst out of the water, circling each other whilst swinging their heads back and forth. May sees the first goslings hatch and take the first steps. Sometimes learning what to eat and what is perhaps too big a struggle can be daunting. This little one was quite perturbed by the resistance it met when trying to have some lunch. By June, the canopy is too thick in the trees to get any small bird pictures, so it is time to dig out the macro lens. I try and get slightly unusual angles at times, and this one worked quite well. At the height of summer, in July, we get a lot of dragonflies on the canal near me, and this particular one is doing its best for future generations to appear as well. Whilst photographing some lapwings in August, I noticed a lot of jackdaws in that area, and I decided to track them. It was a very rewarding experience seeing them up close and hopping about looking for food. In September, I decided to take some time off work and go to a nature reserve that is a little bit further away than my local neighbourhood. Happily, a couple of mates of mine came along. Oh, hello, hello. mates! Which made the trip very enjoyable, and I was quite happy to spend some time with the oyster catchers as well. In October, the autumn finally set in proper and I got to do my favourite fall activity, 
which is mushroom close-ups. I'm rarely happier than when I can spend a few hours alone in the wood looking for tiny mushrooms. November did not turn out the way I would have wanted, but in all that happened, I was able to spend some time with this otter and see it fish in the early morning sunshine. I've never spent a lot of time with the little goldcrest, so I was quite lucky to be tipped off about some that are rather local to me, and in December I went to go and have a look at them. They're our lightest bird, weighing in at only 5.5 grams. So that was my year 2023. I hope you enjoyed some of the images. I do think it's very useful to occasionally go through the images that you've taken over a period just to see what you can learn from your own photography. What did I do good? What did I do not so well? And what am I hoping to achieve with my images? What, what is it that I'm trying to capture? I think this is a, a useful exercise for anyone and I've I've enjoyed just looking at my uh, older images because they bring back so many wonderful memories of being down by the lakes at really early in the morning or just taking the camera out for one lazy afternoon and photographing some insects and what have you. So yeah, I, I definitely enjoy this kind of experience as well and given the fact that we're going to be hit by nine storms between now and sometime in January it's it's not very conducive at the moment to try and go out and do too much photography. I, I do try and, and slip out from time to time as you saw from the images in, in the intro but it doesn't become a whole full photography session because it's sort of in the eye of the storm style of uh, photography like what we're having now you can see it's kind of gorgeous weather and it's actually a bit quiet in uh, the trees and whatnot but in five minutes this is going to go away and it's just going to come back with full force winds and rain and what have you which doesn't really please me when it comes to photography so Yes, I hope this has been useful. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you like this kind of content, please like the video. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, I, I think some of the images are also important of things to come. So there's going to be more bird photography and there's going to be more sitting down by lakes and filming the great crested grebes and other birds around there. So. <coughs> Yeah, if you want to see more of that, please uh, subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you get notified when I do produce a new video. Until then, though, take care of yourselves. Have a very happy new year and enjoy your photography. Until next time, bye-bye.